Hey guys, what's going on? Tennessee Frank here bringing you another video and as you see from the intro uh, we did get out and we shot this little guy here it's going to be Smith and Wesson and it is their 351C, the Airlite 22 mag it is a 7 shot, I do have those uh, Hogue grips on it and uh, it didn't do too bad the trigger is a little heavy and like I said by necessity to uh, pop these rim fires it's got to be and uh, I did get a hold of some critical defense that's a uh, 45 grain so it's supposed to be a defensive round which uh, we ran some through the chronograph which I can uh, cut some footage in here in a minute to show you velocity results. Velocity test CCI MaxiMag 40 grain out of the 351C from 3 yards. Uh, but yeah, I mean it did okay uh, It's not going to be a barn burner. It's you're not going to take it out to go uh, hog hunting or uh, you know drop an elk But for a small lightweight gun and uh, we can we can roll the scale back over Let me see if I can get this set up here Yep for a small lightweight gun what you uh, see unloaded, even with these grips, we're coming in at under 12 ounces. Uh, it, it's not a bad little choice. It, it's real easy to, to stick in your pocket. Uh, you don't even know it's there when you pocket carry. Of course, you can get one of these little uh, DeSantis pocket holsters. And you don't even know it's there. And uh, I did get the right speed strips. The speed strips in my first video... Um, said 10 22 10 rounds of 22 these if we look if we can get her to focus says 10 caliber 17 hmr which that's your 22 mag as well and you can see these aren't all uh pooched out and messed up and um i do have one that uh is in a, a desantis mag packer it's the model ee it was the one that I was carrying a 45 ACP mag in. And it fits down in there well enough. Keeps it oriented so you can get to them. But, uh, yeah, it did, I would say, fairly well. Uh, we can see here's the, the first seven shots out of the, out of the gate. Um, I have one flyer. But other, otherwise, not too bad. Like I said, that's at five five yards. I, I wasn't really in the mood to push it today. I figured five yards is good enough for these little snub-nosed guns. And uh, then I did some of these uh, Hornady Critical Defense. Uh, I got one here. Looks kind of like a flyer. I got a flyer up here. But yeah, I mean, I need to shoot this gun a lot more. Definitely need to get out and shoot this a lot more. Um, the, the ones we did chronograph, I believe, was the Maxi Mag, the, the 40 grain. Uh, we probably need to get out and do the critical defense also and see what it's going to do. But, uh, yeah, uh, all in all, I say this is a pretty decent little gun. It is pricey. You're not going to get these cheap. I mean, I like that sight. You got your white sight right there. It's easy to line up. Uh, yeah, they, they run like in the $700 range. And I was just fortunate enough to, uh, you know, get a decent amount on my trade. And, uh, you know, my manager worked with me and helped me get into this. And, you know, thank God for him that he could help me do that. Uh, but it's going to go into my uh, carry rotation. 
probably be like a small gun if we're just going to run up the store or something real quick. I'll just, you know, throw it in the pocket and, and we can run up to the store, go check the mail or whatever. Uh, other than that, I also have uh, now the LCR, as you've seen in my other video, and uh, still got the bodyguard. So a pretty good little collection of these uh, snub nose revolvers. I do have more speed strips coming, so I'll be able to carry more ammo. But uh, decent little gun all in all. I mean, if you're looking for a little 22 mag uh, as a trail gun, or uh, just like I said, a little small pocket gun, these little guys are hard to beat. Uh, I've always been a real Smith & Wesson fan. Always liked the brand, especially the revolvers. So, uh, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we sit by and watch them go away. You guys have an awesome rest of the day. We'll talk to you later. Tennessee Frank out of here.